Hello everybody! Today we are going to discuss cloud gaming. Let's put it straight. It's no secret that the recent years turned out to be a difficult time for gamers. The mining fever, the global pandemic and the shortage of graphics cards. All of these have changed the situation in the market, and it's not in favor of us and users. Cloud gaming service is a popular topic these days. Instead of building a powerful but expensive gaming rig, you can try its alternative – gaming in the cloud. The idea behind cloud gaming is this – you don't need to download games to your PC, but you can actually play on a remote server provided by a certain data center. Having looked through all available services, I stopped on NVIDIA GeForce Now. As a matter of fact, all you need is a device capable of playing a video stream. Easy to set up, easy to play, and nothing to worry about. Well, maybe except for the internet connection you are going to use. Let's start by exploring the network connection and hardware requirements. For comfortable gaming, you need the bandwidth of at least 15 megabits per second. If you have it, you can expect to play games in 720p and at 60 FPS. For full HD, this figure should be over 30 megabits per second. In fact, cloud gaming feels much better if you use an Ethernet cable connection or the 5 GHz wireless connection. Otherwise, you may encounter lags and blurs. So, how can you play games with NVIDIA GeForce Now? What should be done to make it possible? Let's visit the corresponding website. You need to create an account here, and it's pretty easy to sign up. Click Join Now. Choose the kind of membership you want to use, and I'll be using the free membership. After that, you'll see this menu. Enter your email address, or you can choose to log in with Google. Create your account. Confirm your email address. Decide which device you'll be playing on. Click here to download. When it's complete, open the installation file. Agree to the terms of use. After that, log in to the GeForce Now app, then go back to the browser. Let's choose the provider. For Europe it's NVIDIA and for CIS countries it's GFNRU. I have to warn you at once. GeForce Now offers you two kinds of subscription – Basic, which is free of charge, and Premium. Of course, we'll be exploring the Basic version now. As it's free, be prepared to stand in line with a number of other money-saving players. Your game sessions will only last 60 minutes, and then you will have to sign in to the server again and wait for your turn to play. There is one more stage left to complete – link your Ubisoft, Epic Games or Steam account. On the website, you can find the guide on how to link your accounts to GeForce Now. Go to the settings of this application and connect any platform where you have an account. I'll show you how to do it for Steam. If you don't have a Steam account and you don't know what's that, here is some brief information. Steam is the largest online store selling video games and will be using it to play on GeForce Now. Almost all popular titles like Dota or CSGO are free. Click on the Connect button. Even if you don't have a Steam account yet, you can create it absolutely free of charge. Enter your account data. After your Steam account is connected, you can choose server location and we recommend to use the auto setting. Remember that using this cloud service requires a good and stable internet connection, preferably a cable connection. Also, you can choose the streaming quality. This is where you decide what exactly you want to get in terms of picture and data traffic. Now, let's jump to the Games tab. Here you can see the games available for playing. Once, I'd like to remind you that there are both free-to-play titles and paid games to choose from. For example, in order to play Cyberpunk with RTX Ray Tracing, you need to buy the game first and then pay for the premium membership. But for now, we'll be happy to play free games. As I was saying, with a basic membership you'll have to wait for your turn to play. But this membership is free. You can choose games with the lowest number of other players waiting to join or choose the most popular projects. During gameplay, I didn't have anything worth complaining about. The picture was stable, without any lags, and feedback time had no delay. There were no serious issues even during shootouts. However, there's a piece of advice. With a free membership, the best time to play is when most other players are supposed to be studying or working. In the evenings, when everybody goes online, the waiting time is just terrible. 
but if you want to play without having to wait, and with a premium membership you can enjoy game sessions up to 4 hours, just pay for it. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Finally, there is only one question left to be answered. Is it worth it? Well, at least you can give it a try. Answering the question why the picture may look shabby or why there are so many lags, here is all I can say. Unfortunately, many gamers install applications without checking what kind of router or internet connect connection they are using. On the other hand, there are numbers of other players waiting to join in. And the only way to escape it uh, seems to be the paid membership. To continue this topic, let's cover briefly other cloud gaming services. The first one on the list is Xbox Cloud, and that's a very cool service. Everything is available with Game Pass, and it supports gaming on smartphones as well. You can get an unlimited access to various game genres. Microsoft claims that all games are run in the cloud using special Xbox Series X equipment. The games are streamed at 60 FPS and with a resolution up to 1080p. The cloud gaming service Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is definitely the market leader as it provides the widest range of gaming content. Also, there is Google Stadia, but it requires you to have a Stadia game controller. On the other hand, unlike the case of GeForce Now, you don't have to buy games. Many projects appear on this service earlier than on other platforms. And finally, Stadia can stream content in any resolution up to 4K and do that at 60fps. Evidently, there is a bright future awaiting Stadia soon. They are unlikely to start competing against Microsoft, Sony and Nintendo in this year 2022, but their software is really good. One more name to be mentioned is PlayStation Now, which is not as similar to GeForce Now as we may think. Instead of promising a game library to be available regardless of where you are and what device you are using, PlayStation Now is limited to two platforms only – PlayStation 4 and Windows PC. The most attractive part of this service is clearly the access to exclusive PlayStation titles, and not the projects meant for PC gamers. Also, PlayStation Now doesn't support mice and keyboards, which is kind of sad. If you are playing games on PC, you will have to either buy a DualShock 4 and use it with a micro-USB cable, which is not included into the kit, so you will need to buy it additionally, or pay extra for a wireless adapter. And that is all for now. If you found this video interesting, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching, good luck! While you are watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments on the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's dishonorable invasion.